Airway Heights has tried to make Highway 2 safer for both pedestrians as well as cyclists with better overhead lighting and better marked crosswalks. However, because of the growth out here and a casino, you can encounter cyclists and pedestrians 24-7. To make matters even worse, Melissa Paul was allegedly impaired when she tried to negotiate Highway 2 in the middle of the night in the middle of a snowstorm. Little did Paul know that Ty Olds was trying to do the same thing, pedaling along the shoulder without any lights or reflectors on his bike. The collision smashed out Paul's windshield and killed Olds instantly. A subsequent investigation by troopers on scene, uh, that person was uh, believed to be impaired and uh, was uh, booked into the Spokane County Jail for vehicular homicide. As they investigated the crash scene, troopers found someone had ditched baggies of meth and cocaine in front of Paul's car. So troopers backed up their dash cam video and found passenger Stefan Goodwin had been standing by the front bumper. Goodwin was cut by glass from the broken windshield. And so when troopers saw Goodwin's blood on the baggies, he went to jail on drug charges as well. Our mission is to gather all the facts so we can paint a clear and accurate picture of what, to the best of our ability, occurred um, that night. Paul blew .06 on a portable breathalyzer, and because of the possibility she was also impaired by meth or coke, prosecutors asked for a million-dollar bond. Her attorney said right now there's not evidence Paul was illegally impaired at all, and because Paul has no criminal history, she deserved little or no bond. Judge Michael Price thought a million dollar bond was too much for the circumstances in this case, given that Paul has no criminal history. However, he also took the unusual precaution of telling her whether she has a license or not, she is not allowed to drive again without the court's permission. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.